hey, how are you guys doing? Today, I'm gonna do a really simple um, makeup look. Um, I promise it's gonna be simple. Um, if you haven't subscribed, make sure to subscribe to my channel. I would really, really appreciate that. I am trying to um, hit 200 subscribers before the end of 2020 or the end of this year. Um, so I really, really do hope that I hit that number. Um, so again, if you haven't subscribed, I would really appreciate if you subscribe to my channel. And also, um, if you do like this video, if if you're gonna watch it all of all the way to the end, um, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. I would really appreciate that. Okay, so I'm gonna try something new. I have been practicing with the soap brows um, thing. I know it's not a new thing. It's been going around for such a long time. So. I bought the pear soap, um, which is the one that most people use, and this is just water inside an old like spray Nick spray bottle. So I'm gonna spray some of water onto my soap, and I'm gonna get my spoolie and just rub that in there. Um, so I'm gonna try and do this soap brow thing on video for you two guys today because I've been practicing um, just like you know playing around every day um, but I've never filmed this process so that's what we're doing today now this brow is actually my good brow so um, I really don't have a difficult time doing this brow with the soap but the other brow is much of a challenge so what I'm doing is I'm just rubbing the soap in there and then I am going to brush them in place wherever I want them to stay and I'm gonna let them sit for a few minutes so yeah that brow's done now we're gonna do the other brow. I'm just gonna wet the um, spoolie with water, wiggle it around, and then let's do this brow. Hopefully this brow cooperates with me today because this left brow is like super stubborn. So we'll see. I know you let you guys can see like white soap bits but that will dry clear um and we're gonna clean around the brows just to make sure there's no like additional soap around the brows so when we put our base on um the foundation will stick to the skin properly so let me just do this see this brow looks so much like I love how it looks right now this one is like it has its own brain let's just keep trying to get this to stick okay this is what we have going on so far I finally got this brow to cooperate a bit so now I'm just gonna like shape them a bit so just brush down some of the hairs that you don't want sticking up like a little over where your shape is. So yeah, I'm liking that. So now I'm going to take like a really thin cotton bud. I just took out some of the um, excess cotton. And then I'm going to clean the sides of the brows just to make sure there's no like additional soap hanging around. Okay, so I'm just going to let my eyebrows dry up and we'll work on them later on. So I'm going to do my foundation and concealer off of camera and I will be right back. 
All right, so I have my um, foundation and concealer on under my eyes and all that. Now it's time to bronze, so I'm going to get my Rimmel bronzer. Um, by the way, all of the products that I'm using will be listed down below, just in case you are curious. So this bronzer actually has a sheen, um, a bit of a sheen to it, which I really, really am enjoying right now. Usually I go for um matte bronzers but i'm liking that there's a bit of a sheen to this Ooh, look at this brow here i probably like touched it okay just putting it back so just a bit of a bronzer just to give back or rather put back the color to our face since the foundation you know took that all the way um Oh, yes, by the way, I did get a haircut. Um, it's been long overdue. My hair was just, you know, long and I looked old, older <laughs> with the long hair. So I decided I'm going to cut it a bit short. It's not as short as my previous haircuts, but still shorter than the hair that I had before, of course, because I got it cut, duh. Um, so, yeah. I got it cut just a little bit and I'm liking this length um, I look like a kid I feel like I look like a kid but you tell me um so yeah that happened and I've been getting so much like hair fall like the top of my head the hair here it's just getting like so much thin and I'm not sure what's going on maybe it's because I'm getting older or change of like environment like I'm not going out getting sun as much um, I don't know or maybe because um, I shower with uh, warm water now and it's like on my head so what I've been doing recently is I have just been um, shampooing or wetting my hair with cold water um and i've seen a bit of a difference with the hair fall when i got my hair cut and when i started to like wet my hair with cold water instead of warm water so i will keep you guys updated on that whoa i think i went like way too strong on the bronzer <laughs> but we will fix that. Now I'm taking my Morphe bronzer. This is a matte one. And that's what I'm going to use to um, contour my non-existent jawline here. Make it look like I have a jawline. So if you don't have a visible jawline like me, um, the best way to, to contour your jaw is to start behind your ear, like behind your earlobe so and then you go down so don't put it like right here put it right here if you can see what i'm doing so that's gonna like help give that illusion of a visible jawline which i'm all for and then of course don't forget to blend down a little here because we don't want like that harsh harsh line so just blend down a bit here onto the neck and that's how I do that make it look like I have a prominent jawline see look at the difference here and here yeah really really helps me out <laughs> okay so I just put some um, powder on my cheeks just to like help with that bronzer make it like clean um so i like doing that it's not for everyone but i like the way it shapes my face so i always do that whenever i put bronzer or foundation foundation and bronzer on so we're gonna move on to the brows now i'm gonna take my anastasia um brow powder in ebony so that's what it looks like and i'm gonna mix the two shades together um and then we are gonna shape the brows so I'm gonna start off underneath my brows and 
just creating that definition there and then brushing up I know it's a bit harsh right now but we will blend that later oh by the way um, I wet my brush a little because we do have some of that soap um, on our eyebrows so just wet wetting your angled brush a little helps to like distribute the brow powder better when you have soap on your brows so I'm gonna show you this eyebrow and then I'll do the other one off of camera because again this is my my good brow this is the brow that always cooperates with me hopefully it does today sometimes when I get too confident about how obedient it is um it messes with me so as you can see i'm only like doing very very light strokes i know i'm holding my brush pretty close to the bristle part but it's just how i you know hold my brushes but again i'm just putting like very light pressure because when you want light pressure you usually hold your brows at the end i'm sorry not the brows the brush <laughs> at the end um but i don't know that just doesn't work for me for brows yeah that, that works for me for eyeshadow but for brows i like holding it up close i mean closer to the bristle part so just Applying some of that powder through. Okay, so we have something like that, and then I'm gonna get my spoolie and I am going to brush the bottom of the brows. Now, I only do this if I go like way too harsh in the beginning like what I did here see that's just way too harsh but if I don't make that mistake I don't do this because this will disturb the soap that you put on the brows but again you know I'm just showing you how to fix a mistake So that's one eyebrow done. Okay, what I am going to do though is get a bit of soap again. I know this is probably going to mess it up, but I just don't like that harshness in front of the brows. So I'm going to get a bit of soap again on a spoolie. And I'm going to try to... Just a little bit, see? And I'm going to try to brush the hairs up again. Yeah, okay. That helped a little. It's just taking away some of that powder that we put on way too harsh. That helps soften them up a little. Okay, so I'm going to do the other brow off of camera and I will be right back. Alright, brows are on. Um, they're not perfect, but again, I'm still practicing with that soap brow thing. So bear with me, but I'm, I'm okay. I'm liking how they look right now. Anyway, so um, as I said, we're going to do a really, really simple eye look. Um, and I'm going to take my Bobbi Brown... Um, this is like the small palette, like the five shade palette. See, let me cover that. So that's what it looks like. So we're gonna do a mixture of these two shades here. So this one and this one. So just mixing that in. And then that's what we're gonna use as our um, transition shade or a crease shade rather. So. 
just going to apply that on our crease. Windshield wiper motions as so. Now if you find that it's too dark for your liking, like right now I don't like how that's looking, I'm going to add a bit of um, that pinky shade to lighten it down a bit. Now you can actually just use whatever shades you want. You can actually just use the pinky, um, a similar pinky shade that I showed you. Um, but again, it depends on your skin tone. If you're, you're more, your skin tone is darker than I am, um, then that probably won't show up pretty well. But if you have um, a light skin tone, I think that's going to be that pink shade that I showed you, this one right here. It's going to be a good color for your transition. So I'm just going to blend that in. And just going to keep blending until I like the way it looks. So I just want to say really quick, um, I know this is a bit of a negative topic right now but just re want to say really quick i'm so happy about who won the u.s presidential elections um i know not everyone is happy i can't please everybody but personally i am very very happy about who won and again, I'm pretty sure by now you know that Biden won. Well, he's the president-elect. They're not done with counting yet, but with the number of electoral votes he has, he is the new president, or will be in Inauguration Day, the new president of the USA. And I'm very, very happy about that. I'm not going to say much, that's it, because I know I have friends and family who wanted Trump to win. Um, so I don't want to get into like a discussion with them. So, that's all I'm going to say about that. Okay, back to the eyeshadow. So I'm just, again, like really blowing this out, those two shades. More of that pinky shade though because I don't want it to be like super duper dark. And I like bringing my eyeshadow on the corner um, of the bridge of my nose like below the eyebrow right, right here. I just like the vibe that it gives. So that's what I'm doing. Okay, so now I'm going to get... Um, this shade right here. It's actually just a um, a bone shade and it's matte. So I'm just going to grab some of that on a flat brush and I am going to put that all over my lid. I'm going for like a matte look which I haven't done in a while. I always have to have shimmers but I thought I'd just, you know, go for a matte look today so just all over the lid don't worry it looks messy I know but we will blend it out to that crease shade later on just wanna get this on all over my lid And then with the first um, brush that we used, just going to go over that again just to make sure everything is nice and blended. Okay, so I just tight lined my upper waterline and um, just added some black liner to the top. Um, that's going to help when I put my lashes on later because again I'm not like an expert at putting lashes on so putting like eyeliner um, will really help like you know make it look like it's really close to the lash line but it's really not. Do you see that? Do you see this part right here? 
It's just my eyes are so watery. Um, they're so sensitive, so when I fuss with them a little bit too much, that's what happens. Anyway, I'm just going to let that sit there for a bit and we will fix it later. Now I'm just getting my mascara and we're going to coat my lashes. Now we're going to put or I'm going to put some falsies on so this is just going to prepare my lashes for those falsies. I'm not going to go too ham on the mascara. Just one coat to help them stay up because my lashes are stubborn. They like to like, you know, stay like that. Okay, so I am going to do that on the other eye and be right back with my lashes on. All right, now we have the lashes on and I'm actually really liking these lashes. I'm not sure what style they are or where I got them, um, but I'll try to figure that out and I'll put that in the description box for you guys. So now we're going to do the lips. Um, I'm going to do two options because I love a bold lip, but I know it's not for every everyone, so I'm going to do a neutral lip as well. So I'm going to start off with um, the neutral lip because that's easier to <laughs> take off. Um, so I'm going to use MAC um, in the shade Faux. So that's what it looks like. And we're just going to whack that on. Now you can use a lip liner um, if you're a lip liner kind of person. But I'm really not. I mean, I do use lip liner. But not like I don't think it's necessary. At least not to me. Um, but you, you can put a lip liner before this. So, But me, I'm just going to whack it on. So that's what that looks like. Again, this is the shade Faux um, from MAC. I actually like that. It's pretty like, um, it's uh, simple. It's normal looking, which I'm all about. So yeah, that's the neutral lip option. Okay, so now we're gonna go to the bold lip um which is this shade right here i'm not gonna use a liner a lip liner but again like i said you can do that if um you want to so i'm just gonna go straight in i'm not gonna say the name because i might butcher it so i'm just gonna put it in the description box um in case you're wondering what shade this is so let's put this on Oh, I don't think I said what um, brand this is. This is ColourPop um, in their lippy sticks, but I'm pretty sure you already know that because of the packaging. Mmm, <laughs> I like this color. And this is the second lip option, which again, I'm all about. I just love the bold lips and this red. Oh my goodness, I forgot how much I love this shade of red. It's just so like sexy and Christmassy vibes at the same time. So yeah, I'm liking that. Anyway, so yeah, that's the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, again, if you have not subscribed, make sure to subscribe and also give this video a thumbs up. I would really, really appreciate that. Like I said in the beginning, I'm trying to reach 200 subscribers before the end of this year. So yeah, I hope that you could help me out and reach my goal, my YouTube goal. 
so i'll see you guys in my next video but wait let me do some awkward posing because i'm really loving this lip So yeah, I'll see you in my next video. Bye!